In this video, we're going to be going through sketching y equals x squared take away 6x plus 8 over x squared plus 6x plus 5. First thing you want to do is spot whether you can factorise the numerator or denominator before we do any uh, sketching at all. So both of them do. The numerator sketches to x take away 4, x take away 2. And the bottom factorises to x uh, plus 5, x plus 1. OK, right, let's draw some axes. So first thing we want to identify on our sketch is any vertical asymptotes. That's when the denominator is 0, so we can see that there's going to be 1 at minus 5 and 1 at minus 1. So that can be x equals minus 1, and x equals minus 5 can be there. OK. Right, now where does it cross the x-axis? That's when the numerator is 0. So that will be when we're at x equals 2 and x equals 4. So x equals 2 and x equals 4. Next, we want to know where it crosses the y-axis. So that's going to be when x is 0. So that's going to be at 8 over 5 when x is 0. So 8 fifths. Um, let's pop that like there. 8 fifths. And a horizontal asymptotes. Uh, well, the order of the numerator and the denominator for polynomials are the same. So we are going to have a horizontal asymptote. If I divide through by x squared, 1 take away 6 over x plus 8 over x squared over 1 plus 6 over x plus 5 over x squared. Well, this will tend to 1 over 1 as x tends to positive or negative infinity. Okay, So all of those fractions will tend to 0, so we'll get y equals 1 over 1. So y equals 1 is a horizontal asymptote. Okay. Right. So the next thing that I would probably do at this stage is then um, work out whether the curve is going to cross the uh, horizontal asymptote at any point other than between 0 and 2, because it clearly has to go this way. Okay, so it's definitely going to be crossing the horizontal asymptote at least once. Will it cross it again? So the horizontal asymptote is y equals 1. So I put this equal to 1. Multiply up. So I can subtract x squared from both sides. Uh, I can add 6x to both sides and subtract 5 from both sides. And then divide through by 12. So x is going to be 3 twelfths, which is 1 quarter. So it's actually only one point of intersection, which is going to be here. OK, so the curve comes down through that point, through x is a quarter, through x equals 2 on the x-axis, then back round through x equals 4 on the x-axis, and then we know that the curve has to tend towards the horizontal asymptote that in that way. It can't go over the horizontal asymptote and then come back on itself, because we know it can't cross the horizontal asymptote again, because there's only one point of intersection. That point there, that's one quarter. Now, how about for the other parts of the graph? Well, um, we can't have the graph down here because it would need to cross the x-axis again. So it's got to be in this part of the graph, tending towards both of those asymptotes. And now it's either in this portion of the graph or this portion. We know it can't cross into this rectangle. OK. Um, but I don't know whether it's above or below, so I'm going to try a value out. We're going to try x equals minus 2. OK, so when x equals minus 2, uh, I'm going to pop it into this one. So we've got minus 2 take away 4 is negative. Minus 2 take away 2 is negative. Uh, we've got minus 2 plus 5 is positive, And minus 2 plus 1 is negative. OK, so we've got a positive divided by a negative. 
and so negative. And so it's definitely down here for that part of the graph. And so this is the sketch of y equals x squared take away 6x plus 8 over x squared plus 6x plus 5.